Hi, I'm Iris. Welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange 2. Um, where we're nearing the end of the game, kind of. There's something we can get from here, though. There's all kinds of things we can get. Um, let's do this. So we're supposed to do a thing for Joan, Joanne. So there's a miniature martel, there's a belly, there's an arm, there's a head. We want it to look kind of like that, but I don't know. Man, I thought my art was weird. Little arm. <sighs> Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Little belly. Maybe that's supposed to represent the earth. Mm. Or a ball. She said it could represent her vision or not, but... Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup! Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. The spider on top? But we can turn it as well. Or turns the spider. <sighs> Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Oh, we can also move it. What's it? Hmm. Don't think too much, Sean. First thought, best thought. Okay. We can turn it as well. Hey, can you... Turn that earth ball around a little bit. Total. <laughs> hmm. Let's do the arm. Now, let's throw on that spider. Check it out! Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Oh, the belly can only go left or right. Yo, can you turn that... that, um... Uh, spider thingy around? There he goes! <laughs> turn left one more again. Hmm. Maybe give that spider another twist? See, Sean. Okay, now we'll go for the head. Hmm. Now... Let's move... Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. You got it. Oh boy, that's a huge. Let's move the arm. Turn the spider, please. Sweet. Yeah, I like that. Um, I guess we'll finish the sculpture. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. <laughs> I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. Dude. I bet you would like Minecraft. It's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes. And you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help build Lord her sculpture. Politics. Yeah, you hate it. What? Nothing. All the way down. All the way down. I wanted to see if I can keep the old one. 
You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. Cool. Can I keep this? There looked like there was a souvenir around here. Chair. Sit. Sand drying. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. Yeah, we'd be way more inclined to live here if he wasn't alone. I want to keep the sculpture. Let's look around a bit more. Where? Oh. Metal sheet. Generator. Oh, you can look more things. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. Yeah, as long as we have a generator, we're chilling. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. We did have that dialogue a little bit ago. Movie theater. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> I like that we're both like t talking on the walkie talkies. Uh, what's our wait for Karen to come back? That's our new objective. Can we go further? School bus. I miss those bus trips with Lila and the guys. What's the story with this one? This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Can we ask about the school bus? Nope. New sculpture. Do we already look? That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help build her sculpture. Yeah. I... It implies that there's... I'm looking all around here and I don't see nothing. Maybe if I sit in the chair. I'll sit in the chair really quickly. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. All right. <laughs> Super Wolf to LTS Blow Loco. Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? Okay. Ten four. Okay. You're on it, Nano. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside! Many wings cannot fly. Many wings cannot fly. Warm! Getting warm! Getting closer! 
<laughs> These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. It's the windmill. Not too far. Just grab it. You're here. Is it up? You're warm. Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. Oh, there it is. Boy, matey, I found a map of a way. Yeah, don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh huh. Sure. Solar panels. You're warming up. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. Getting closer. Can we talk to Dan? You're warming up. Okay, so uh, it's fun. Here it is. Ah, it's near the trucks. <sighs> Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Now just match up the other paper. And the treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Ahoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Yeah. We have treasure hunting in this one and in oh treasure pickup. Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. That's spur. Yes. I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah. I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Adventure time? <laughs> dance time! Hell yeah. Aw, oh, look at that little guy go. Come on, dance! Let me do it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! You asked for it. <laughs> We did it. Layer to reason. I did it. Yay, that's what that was. Can I? Oh, I can pin it. I want to pin it. That's a little sunflower earring. That's so cute. Wait, is that the two whales diner? Wait. I. Uh, I think you're spotting mom's truck coming back. Mm, yes, 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her. Back with the groceries. Oh, cool. We have a treasure map. Man, that kid really got into his treasure hunt. Oh, that's new. Is it? Recycling boxes? You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Where's the car coming from? Where's the... Okay, it's coming up this way. Watch Oops. out! Wait! We're back. Gotta empty that truck. Hello! Wait! I'm right here. Hey, 
Hey, what's Glad up? Glad to see you survived the hey. night in the desert. Good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> The deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. Wait. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It's amazing. It was amazing. So many stars. It's so quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. So that was the town. Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah. Not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> ...skills. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so... ...I don't try anymore. Well... ...take it from an old soldier. But... You trained him well. He's a good kid. Thanks. I tried my best. I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. That is not I true. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy. But he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen. Raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Oh no! <gasps> oh. You didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. A step -douche. <laughs> Before her mom died, we never got along. She was angry. I was stupid. We were like... oil and water. And she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But... we eventually... made our peace. Anyway, That's so we can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. He's so okay. cute, the ponytail. Time out. Oh my god, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a... rest stop. I know. Uh, 
I love them. I start crying over David. Oh my god. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. I'm so glad that we got to see him again. Stanley. A pound of coffee beans, no decaf, trail mix, mousetrap, watermelon, choco, crisp, baking soda, foot powder, shea butter, turmeric, ibuprofen, condoms, USB core, dry cat food, sunscreen, measuring tape. Is that David's name? But he- no. Who the heck is Vadim? Do you- Pictures, poems, backpack. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather. Sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? I love it. This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. So peaceful here. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. It's a way. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but... Her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Uh-oh. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Uh-oh. Something's off. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Something's off. Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Oh, that made me so happy to see David. And he said they're at peace now, so that means they must have contacted each other. Oh. That's so sweet. Oh, I hope everything's going well, David. Chloe and Max. He was- he looked really nice with long hair and a ponytail tied back. We should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Now, nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man, I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Isn't this the same row we went earlier? Give me your hand. <sighs> <sighs> I... Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. 
Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky. Yeah. A wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. The wolf brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Um, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. Um, walk to the top of the canyon. Oh, we have Cassidy's letter with us now. Is there a... no. Relics from another life. Reading Brody's letter. Reading Brody's writing makes me feel he's right here with me. Like I can still hear his voice. Grand Prince letter and Cassidy's letter. Oh, he's a baseball in his inventory. It's cool David brought something for Daniel. Yeah. Treasure hunt. When did he find the time to do all this? Sunlight of future nightmares. Don't be art, do crimes. <laughs> I want to spread that as be gay, do crimes, because I'm used to that. Cool to hang out, Joan, for a bit. Crimes, crimes, go for old derp. We have our souvenirs. Hey, there's a little rock pile right here. Did Daniel do that? She's just walking back and forth. <laughs> oh, sorry, Daniel. I didn't want to push you out of the way. I always wait for Daniel to go first when the game wants me to go first. <sighs> I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. Helped us a lot. You actually helped us. You gave us a place to recharge and lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. I know. This is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are. And where you're going. You could come with us. <clears throat> By the way, uh... If you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. She's a little tired of us there. right now. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Oh. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, we saw some stories in the papers. 
The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This can last forever. I just... So... I thought she was gonna say she wanted us out of her hair. She wanted us to leave. I thought she was gonna be mad at us. Okay, I just wanted to say that really quick. This is it? Yeah, probably. See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? I am glitching a bunch. I don't know why. That's because I'm too far from my camera, That's I think. That's why I brought you back here. Is this I made okay. these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh! I love those things! <gasps> Whoa! Awesome! Cool. Let's light up the sky. That was a really cool sequence. Right, so we really do have to be back on the road again. Moving along. We have to leave away. I wonder how bad we... Do we ever look to see how we look in the news or what our public opinion is or what they pip up the public's opinion of us is please something oh it's our last morning together um, probably are you guys all set up to leave no. So that's we have to leave again. I know, no, no. I think I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. How far is How far is the border? Not that far. Uh maybe a 5 or 6 hours drive. That's pretty far. It won't be easy crossing that border. Mm -mm. So I'm going to give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom, they'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. We really don't have to. 
You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Dad didn't raise us this way. I don't want to fight. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. You took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. Nobody could ask for a better brother. Or son. Okay. This is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. Okay. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Wonderful. Okay. Check on David is our objective. So glad Jake and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. There's the drifter's letter. Um, oh, we ventured thirty dollars. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Are these? Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Brody, we miss okay. you too, Lila. Always. Letter, poems, a lot of these are gonna be the same thing. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. I have to get one of these for Puerto Lobos. Daniel's a total addict now. <laughs> Old gift. Oh, she put Still it. can't believe she's kept it. It's the box, our bed. Karen won't have to share her space anymore. But maybe she'll feel kind of alone. Who knows? It's a lot of things could be via such tape. <sighs> Dad was an absolute fan well, of we already had this line. Huh. <laughs> maybe they were nerds together. Oh, there's a newspaper. Look at that. They won't ever leave us alone. FBI and Nevada police are searching for a woman and her two teenage sons after a suspicious fire destroyed a church in Haven Point, Nevada. Let's write to Karen. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. I want to say both. It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. <sighs> Maybe we're not that different. Don't give up on your freedom. Please don't give up on your freedom. Okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love. Sean. I 
think she'll really like it. Oh, we can see the options. I'll leave as is. That, that was really touching. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Let's see, I'm observing our last night away. Um, two whales diner. Probably a David item. I want to say goodbye to Paul and Stanley. Stanley and Arthur. Let's check you out one last time. <laughs> Should go see what David wants now. Oh, can we help? You'll be fine in my. I'm hey. Help. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. Yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be too. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Did you guys... Ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going, hmm. but never did. He said growing up there was hard, but he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over, if we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. Yeah. He wants to be equals. And you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. Hey, don't forget to see David. I will. so sweet. I like her a lot. I'm gonna cry. She is a good person. This place has too many adults. I don't know. Come on. Hey. Looks very cool. Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. <laughs> Good. That makes one of us. But I like it. <laughs> of course, you, and Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around <laughs> was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. 
Oh. <gasps> That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> Your name is Homer Sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself. And my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey. Is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. <laughs> so long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. Joanne and Daniel and Sean. Oh, I love you. I'll miss you so much, Joanne. I know, sweetie. Don't do bad, please. I also, I, I know some of the voice acting is a little corny from time to time, but I think they did a really good job with the conversations in this one. Should um, go see what David wants now. You know, the dialogue between two people with them, um, you know, uh, those two, um, especially Sean's mom and Joanne. I really, really like those two voice acting. Um, let's go see talk to David. I mean, I'm so happy to see he sounds a little different. It makes sense. He's Oh, the- Sean. <gasps> hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Also, oh, we get to look at David's house now. Oh my god. So I just realized his door, his camper design, on, especially on the outside, looks a lot like the Two Whales Diner. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. It's a broken TV. Wonder where David got this police scanner. From security work. <gasps> Must be his wife. Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. Oh, Chloe. I forget what the mom's name was. Oh. It's such a... Oh. I feel so bad because, like, the final decision of Life is Strange 1... I had no please, idea. Oh. Please don't let the cops come looking for us out here. Let me pause so Sean isn't worried. Picture me. Uh... Oh, Polaroid, does Max send those? <laughs> they look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Oh, we know for sure. Oh my gosh. Did they come visit here? Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Oh, I wonder if Max did these. And beans. Yeah, David is ready for that apocalypse or whatever. Oh, honey, you have no idea. We let to look in his bathroom. We can look in his bathroom. Wait, oh. I thought there was some. This is a pretty nice setup, David. Look at that. You got a little tub and everything that goes under the sink. Oh, and a little oh, banjo over it. Or I think that's a... I don't know what instrument that is, but that's really cool. Oh, there's another box. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. Enclosed is your most recent deposit statement from the city of Arcadia Bay as per your negotiated settlement for damages. Please ensure the amount is accurate and your bank has processed the latest deposit. Oh my god, no. So he's probably set. But, yeah. 
I wonder if that was done by Nathan's family or something. Okay. How does this thing work? 140, 160. Uh, okay. Only gotta search between 140 and 160. Having a lovely morning on string cord? Mm, don't think so. Keep scanning. Is the lower now? With another classic from the good times. Sound like Jim Henson for a second. When we're in Mexico, we won't have to deal with this shit anymore. I know. That's all I'm saying, folks. But back to our caller talking about climate. Oh, um, nope. Definitely not. Another hit from the backwoods on Dusty Rock. Nah. Uh, uh, 136, <laughs> listening. We've got reports of a 10 down Wait, is this it? Uh, Sam's? Oh, shit. Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Thanks, David. You big rebel. Oh, that's so nice of him. There is something we can pick up that definitely has to do to else. I don't want to take from him that right scans broken door. Oh, box. Damn. I see why David ended up out here. But he still was a hero. Dear Mr. Madsen, sorry this is so late. I put the wrong P.O. box in this address on this envelope and the letter is returned. Hope that this one finds you. I'm glad you left Arcadia Bay. What's left of it? I'm going now going to therapy with Chelsea. I still get nightmares. I hope that Max and Chloe are keeping you company. They're a good team. I am still in Seattle looking over my parents' gallery. Their partner just is great. She's taking care of everything. The will is a mess, but I will be okay. Oh, did her parents die? It's hard to get over the fact that, in a way, I owe my life to my Jefferson throwing me in his fucking bunker. I get flashes of his creepy face all the time, but then I see yours coming to rescue me. I'll probably be thanking you for the rest of my life for that. Please keep in touch with this address for a while and let me know if there's any way I can help you with things again for your service. Best wishes, we chase. Our timeline that we're in. Okay. This makes a little bit of sense. This timeline is the one where Victoria still ended up in the bunker. Right? Because wasn't Victoria in there before me? No. Victoria... Yeah, Victoria was right before me. And... I thought David acted early, though, in... I don't know, I'm thinking too hard about the timelines, but we're... I'm just, like, wondering, because there's certain decisions that Max made, so it's interesting to see that this is a specific timeline where specific things happened that I don't remember if I was a cause of those or not, but I don't think they imported my safe, but... Uh... Um, it? Yes, it is. I believe. Oh, he drew out a map for us. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? Yep. 
and I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right, this is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now, you have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. Sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. No, I'm not wants. trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. Don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane, well, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild. Do you get along now? Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on. Like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them. And we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way. And I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free. Sooner than later. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Is it Chloe? Hey, sweetie. <gasps> What's up? Oh, can we listen? I'm eavesdropping. No shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. Hello. Yeah, I know. 
How about that other gallery she told me about? Cool. Fingers crossed, then. Hi, David. Nah, your old man doesn't fear the heat. <laughs> Yeah, those solar panels are finally up and running. You'll see them next time you come by. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you drive down to Louisiana or Texas, that'd be cool. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Take care of that. Wish Max luck for me, okay? Bye-bye. Love ya. Oh my god. Sorry, I don't I don't mean to be like stalking cuz they're not me anymore. But I've been both of them, in the gaming sense, you know. I hope the UFOs are listening. Let's go to the car and leave the town. There's a two whales diner. Secret that I want, but I don't know. I don't know how to get it. I don't know if I missed the opportunity for it or not. Oh, I hope I didn't. I probably did. I... Can I please come back in? I'm gonna stalk you, David. That's so cool they put that in there. Oh, that made me happy. Okay. We are not going to the car yet. We're just gonna stay right here. And then we'll go in the car. We'll Looks continue like we this everything. in the next episode of Life Strange 2. Thank you so, so much for watching. I, I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you take care of yourself. Get enough food, get enough water, get enough rest, and just be kind to yourself in general.